We all know how government-backed bullion is a solid addition to any stack, but how do we choose which one to buy? Do you go lowest price or highest liquidity? Or do you float somewhere right in the middle of both? Uh, we'll go over a poll that I ran to see what you love to stack, and I'll go over the benefits of each bullion coin, so make sure you stay tuned. <laughs> well, hey YouTube, how you doing? Welcome to another episode of the Silver and Gold Stack Attack. And as always, I just want to take a second to thank you for being here to check out the new video today. Uh, the amazing support has been phenomenal. It's really appreciated more than you know. And uh, you already know which line comes next, right? Best damn community on YouTube, without a doubt. You guys are the best. So today, today, we are going to talk about which government-backed bullion coins you guys chose in a poll as your favorites. And we'll throw in a few pointers about each coin uh, to help you out if you're on the fence on which one to buy. First off, what do we mean by government-backed bullion? Well, simple. It's when the weight and purity are guaranteed by the government that issues them. Let's not confuse it. It's a very simple concept. Now, I'm just putting my two cents out there, so please don't think I'm steering you in any direction uh, as to what to buy. Uh, you'll want to do your own due diligence, stack the way you want to, and buy what works for you and the budget you've set. Uh, this video is just a simple guide to what's out there and what benefits they offer. But enough of that. Uh, hey, don't forget to feed Algo with a sub if you haven't already, and be sure to like and comment. Feed me. He's not a fussy eater, <laughs> and all those actions really do help the channel grow. Now, all that aside, let's go ahead and roll this thing. First off, let's take a look at that poll I posted a couple of days ago. Uh, I can't even say I'm surprised by the results of this, to be quite honest. Uh, we had the, what, Maple come in first, Eagle second, Britannia third, and the Libertad came in last and fourth. Philharmonic got a few votes, so we'll include that one in the uh, upcoming segment. Um, yeah, this isn't a surprise by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, the Mexico Libertad, bear in mind, it's not because of the quality, it's because of the price, I'm sure, uh, for the poor ranking here. But again, really no surprises. And we got some great comments in the uh, comment section. Uh, Robert Strobach, Anxious Stacker, AG Stacker, Don't Ask, Constitutional, Beach Bums. Appreciate all you guys uh, commenting on this. But yeah, uh, there you have it. The people have spoken. Okay, so the Phil got an honorable mention with three votes, so we're going to make that our starting point. Now, a couple of facts on this one. It's been minted at the Austrian Mint in Vienna, since 2008 and the silver content is 3 nines fine it's got a face value of 1.5 euros or the equivalent of a dollar 61 in us dollars and that changes day to day now the obverse features the pipe organ for the vienna philharmonic orchestra it's not a building <laughs> i know a lot of folks that say yeah that building on the back of it no no it, it, it's an organ it's an organ uh the reverse features instruments from the from the orchestra as you know uh, now, the Phil is considered a lower tier gov back coin, and it sells for more than Australian kangaroos, but less than or equal to the UK Britannia. Now, they're definitely prone to milk spotting, absolutely, and that can lower their value, but hell, quite a few government backed bullion coins also suffer the same fate. It's a worldwide issue. But if you're buying these, you'll most likely find them to be affordable. Uh, liquidity is considered average. Next up, we've got the Mexico Libertad. Now, this one came in dead last in the poll results, but don't mistake that as being due to a quality issue because this design is absolutely loved the world over, and it's a highly coveted and collected silver bullion. It's got everything to do with price, and that's because so few are minted each year, and I mean far, far less than any of the other major bullion coins. Now, Libertad's been minted at La Casa de Moneda de Mexico. Or... The Mexican mint <laughs> uh, since 1982 and the silver content is three nines uh, it doesn't have a denomination because Mexico bases the value of the Libertad uh, on the current price of silver whatever it is if you turn one into the bank that's what you get back uh, whatever an ounce of silver is going for that day basically the obverse features the Mexican coat of arms in all of its former iterations and uh, the reverse has a beautiful rendition of the angel of victory with two volcanoes behind it uh, and the name of those volcanoes, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce them. Uh, got some Aztec names to them. 
So what kind of hurts the Libra Tad is the price. And again, though, take into consideration, it's a very low mintage. So they're pretty much the most expensive bullion out there. But trust me, these get snapped up every single year they're issued. Price be damned. These are solid for buying if you can stomach the premiums. And you should be able to get good returns on them when you sell. Liquidity is considered very high. Now we're up to the Britannia, my favorite design and my second favorite stacker. Uh, the Brit was introduced by the Royal Mint in 1997 as a proof coin, then as a bullion coin in 1998. Now one thing you have to keep in mind is the fact that Britannia's minted from 98 to 2012 are going to have a silver purity of 0.958. Okay, they weren't 39s fine. Uh, the 2013 Britannia was the first issue to come out with 39s fine. Now, a lot of folks don't know that. But anyway, the Brit has a denomination of two pounds, which is uh, roughly uh, $2.47 in US dollars. And you should be able to find the Brit cost-wise higher than a Philharmonic, but lower than a Canadian Maple. Now, you already know about the four amazing security features on this coin. And to me, this is the most beautiful design out there by far. But the Brit has a problem. You already know what I'm going to say. It's got a severe milk spotting issue, which can really render this coin down to a cull, uh, a cull ounce of silver, depending on the severity. Not what we want to see when we're spending our hard-earned money on these, right? And because of this, unfortunately, a lot of stackers avoid them. But I do have quite a few that have yet to spot, and they're the majority of the tubes of Brits that I own. Uh, so these are a great value, and the security features make them just about the most secure bullion coin you can own but you do need to be aware of the inherent milk spotting risk that they carry liquidity on these is considered average depending on condition all right the number two most popular bullion stacker in the poll was the american silver eagle now most of you guys know the deal with these it is the most recognized bullion coin in the world and it was first introduced by the u.s mint in 1986 it's been going strong ever since uh and of course in 2021 the reverse went through a change from the United States uh, seal type eagle to a more natural eagle portrait. Now this change met with, um, well, <laughs> uh, a mixed reaction at best. Some liked it, others thought the mint should have just left well enough alone. But that's a sidebar issue. Now this bullion has a denomination of $1 US, which is really just a token value. We all know it's worth far more. And the eagle has a silver purity of three nines fine, with the obverse featuring Adolf Wyman's Walking Liberty design. And that was originally featured on the US half dollar from 1916 to 1947. Now, the Eagle suffers from the same problem as the Libertad, as in the cost, which tends to keep it lower on the list of stackers. Many just can't justify the high premiums that are currently on them. And uh, that's even as spot price drops. Now, despite the price drawbacks, liquidity for the Eagle is considered very high. LCS is going to pay more for them, and they're recognized around the world. But for newer collectors, you also need to be made aware of that insane amount of fake eagles out there. Don't get taken. Do your homework. Become intimately familiar with the fakes so you can avoid getting hosed. Uh, this coin is highly duplicated. And last, but certainly not least, the silver bullion that won the poll, and pretty easily, I might add. Uh, my absolute favorite stacker, the Canadian Silver Maple. Now, uh, the Maple was first released by the Royal Canadian Mint in 1988, and it's most likely the second most popular silver bullion coin throughout the world, just behind the Eagle. Now, the beauty in this one is in its simplicity, and that design stayed the same until 2014, when the RCM introduced some new security features. And those, of course, were the radial lines and uh, the small maple leaf privy with the year hidden within it. Now, it's tough to see with the naked eye, but you can just pick it up. There's also a third feature, but you have to buy a infrared scanner of sorts from the Mint. Uh, I, I don't recommend it. I don't think it's needed. I think a maple can easily pass the eye test. Um, you don't need to spend extra money. Now, I've seen some fake maples, and trust me, they weren't even remotely able to duplicate this coin. <laughs> Not even close. It was actually pathetic. But anyway, this bullion carries a denomination of $5 Canadian. And again, that's just a token number, right? You know that. It's worth far more. And uh, the maple also features the highest silver purity of all the aforementioned bullion at four nines fine. Now, as far as cost, you should be able to get these at a price higher than the Britannia and lower than the American Silver Eagle. Now, unfortunately, the older maples are horribly prone to milk spotting. They're terrible. And the RCM really didn't care much about it since, well, they considered the maple just a bullion coin and not a collectible. But thankfully, they came to their senses in 2018 and 
they implemented the mint shield program which was supposed to get control of the milk spotting it worked for the most part uh you'll still see spotting from time to time but let me tell you it was definitely a huge improvement and it makes it one of the cleanest ones out there so with its reasonable price worldwide recognition and quality liquidity for the maple is going to be considered very high you won't get back in a sale what you'd make on an eagle but you also won't have any problem selling them when the time comes all right there you have it my sincerest thanks to everyone who took the time to take part in the poll uh, you guys really did help inspire this video and i appreciate it so much anyway be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts um, I have a blast going through them, and I do try to respond to each one, so sound off. That's going to wrap it up for this episode of the Silver and Gold Stack Attack. And if you made it this far, well, kudos to you. I'll definitely catch up with you in the next episode, but in the meantime, hell, you know what's coming next. What do you want to do with your life? Damn right. Get stacked. Stay safe and be well, everyone. I am out of here. Peace, folks. <laughs>